Yeah. Rastafari. Say, so boy, just reach up on the farm. Early in the morning and the sun already up and shining. Yeah, people, but about to head to the next side. To the next side of the farm. Let me just do all the. The majority of the ganja operation, you know, we just die marijuana and thing, you know what I mean? We're about to start the cleaning and the boys get a lamp prepared for plant some slips, some marijuana slips, yeah, and you know, hopefully, I'm supposed to get a soul that's coming with me soon so you can look out for that. And I promise nothing, I uh, ain't to show yet, he ain't give me no final word yet, you guys, just leave it coming, you yeah, guys. Yeah, people. So, you know, as I just say it's a lovely day and thing. Yeah. So I just wanna send love, you know, respect, support and thing to the people that will be supporting the channel. The people that are subscribing, who subscribe already. You know, guys. The people that are sharing the um, videos and them. Yeah, I just wanna say enough love and respect and thank you very much. Yeah, people. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, I just stay here and thing, just put in any work and thing now. And as I say, stay tuned, continue to show, show the support and the encouragement, and we're going to see brand new videos coming soon, people. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got a lot of cooking videos to forward. I just a plant up the food and them and get everything put together and thing. You know what I mean? So when you see a start cooking and thing, you know, I eat all food and them thing there. Yeah, guys. yeah, and juice and punch and holy packing in the works, man. Coming, people. Yeah, guys. And we're planning a hunting trip sometime with my friend and them. You know, I'm planning to go hunting sometime, hunting iguanas with my friends. So, you all can stay tuned and look out for that, people. Ah. It's not an easy road when you burn out with Babylon C. Babylon C. It's not an easy road when you choose Rastafari way. So, enough people, enough people hold up, hold it by the time them ask me, ask I, why I choose, why am I choosing to become a Rasta man? Especially in this day and age, you know, this time, you know, this century, you know? Why not before? Well, if someone wanna know me, if one don't really know me, for the people that really know me, they will know say that I've been a Rasta from a taller time. You know? Yeah, from way back as how long, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you could say well ever since I was see because what you see now is just what coming out what inside of me is coming out you know what I mean yeah so you come like this is just a manifestation of the eye spirit of what is inside of the eye yeah and you know what I mean well the first time the manifestation occurred I mean like physically you know I think it was back in 20 13 uh 2014 yeah i think it was 2014 when when I actually started my first set of locks you know them time there was in the hills planting marijuana at a place name at a place that they call Balen, you know at uh, duvalley or uh, copper hole same area around the same area you know what i mean and them time there was planting marijuana with some Rasta men. Well, even long before that, I was in the hills, I was planting marijuana with some farmers and things, and I, was, I had the opportunity to dwell with a lot of Rasta men, a lot of Rasta folks, and both local and like people like from St. Lucia and Grenada and Martinique and all them places there, yeah, Rastafari, you know, like the real Rastafari, them with the big Congo locks, them, them and them that was it eating meat, you know, was it using salt and sugar and them things, 
You know what I mean? Them and the Navy used to use roll on people. You know? Yeah. And them and the Navy used to use toothbrush. Them and toothbrush was like coconut fiber and coal, charcoal growing up. And they, grind, they brush their teeth with that. You know what I mean? And it was straight out of food. Some of them used to eat fish and things. Yeah. So yeah, people, I was telling you, in 2014 now, I had, I was dwelling with a, a St. Lucian guy, a farmer, who, was, who is a Rastafari, you know? And them times I used to plant my hair, I used to braid my hair. But then, after, after dwelling with this man and thing, I'm feeling this guy vibration, this energy, this guy energy, I decided to start growing my locks. You know what I mean? Because living in the hills them time there, it was very hard to maintain in my hair. You know? Because I, I used to have to jog, um, carry, I used to have to carry um, load and thing up on my head. So my hair used to break up a lot. And the cold temperature, the cold temperature of the air and the harsh weather used to damage up my hair. So I just decided to lock it and thing. So one day now I came into the village and a friend of mine plucked my hair for me. She braided my hair for me in a some single yovas. And I went back to the bush the next day. And from that I never lose it out. It was it took me four months for my hair to fully lock. You know? Yeah. And I never did nothing to it. Never did nothing to it at all. But then after I came home after the fourth month, um, everybody was saying, oh, you know, it locks them ugly and thing and thing and them time they you now you know it's self-conscious and thing, the self-awareness and you know what I mean people now never never really accustomed to seeing the free farm type of lock, you know what I mean? They always know the neat saloon type you know yeah that was the trend in the community at the time so what my friend did now she she actually like clip off the dead ends you know what i mean and some of them that was big she split them in two made them small and thing and i used to style it up you know used to style up the hair and thing and twist it up and them thing there yeah, was. But then the, the Rastafari now that we used to dwell with now used to tell me like, you know, as a real Rasta man, you know, this chan now, you know, we not sit down in a saloon chair. You was, we not sit down in a here just a chair. He just on the plane and we had because we are real Rastafari. You was. Yeah. And then it was in 2015, in 2015, you know what I mean, after... Some of my friends and family died in a um, tragic accident, in a tragic van accident, you know. I decided to cut my hair because it was a very stressful time. Yeah, so I, sh I cut my hair and then it was long after, it was long after, I think, let me see, I think it was in 2018. 2018 to all 2019 I had a spiritual awakening yeah you know what I mean I had a spiritual awakening and then the hair that I was growing that at the time um I used some rubber bands and I locked it together but then after it was after it locked I kept it for like a year and up until 2019 2020 yeah, I kept it for almost for a year and a half and then um I decided to cut it because it was really what I was looking for and thing, you know? Because I was still maintaining it maintaining it. Yeah, and after deciding to come back to the farm to my farm and thing, because I did stop farming for a while, you know. But then after deciding now to come back to my farm I decided that I would start regrowing my locks again, but this time I want to do it the 
right way, the proper way, the natural way, the ideal way. You know? So, yeah, people, so right now I'm free farming. Yeah, well, let me backtrack. Um, in all in this at the starting of this year you know well you could see since last year 2021 20, late last year i started a free farm journey and then well my hair did already my hair was almost locked but then i got a serious goal if you look back in my previous videos you will see the video where i talk about catching the bad coal yeah and that came with the covid 19 as well so it was very stressful for me and things so i loosed it out i comb it out you know and yeah so i started back this journey in september in september yeah at the starting of september no well i like in the second or the third week of september i restarted the journey again and now it's november people you know yeah and um it already making a lot of progress you know what i mean so i just use a, a string and pull it back to keep it out of my face because i'm going and do some work you know so i decided just to pull it back but here yeah, people you know it's already coming in and enough people enough as i was saying enough people I always ask me why am I choosing to become a Rasta man at this time when I could go some fashion dreads and thing, some rental dread. But my response to that is that you know as a farmer and yeah and they also my well they, do, they also does ask me like why farming, why I choose farming, why I choose to do farming above everything else when I could you know, at least go and learn a trade or something or something. Look for a work with the government or something. But I choose to work for myself. You know what I mean? Because I don't know if so if Uno realize, but I realize from a from a old, from a younger age that and it's even more prevalent now that you know the system, the Babylon system, you know what I mean? It's like um, this fast food, this fast food thing, it's not really working out. Mm -mm. It's not working out. You know what I mean? We have, um, they're bringing in a lot of fake seeds, fake idol seeds and thing. You know what I mean? You know, a whole heap of chemical food and thing and people like this I I I I I, I not tolerate that you know as a Rasta man I decide that I going back to my farming to my roots to my land you know what I mean and planting my own food you know what I mean farming up my own food I planting what I eat and eating what I plant you know what I mean yeah you know and I am an I, I am an I don't really use I don't really use like um herbicides like pesticides and them thing are like thing to burn and but you know what I mean behind me now is somebody that did come and do that for me. I didn't ask him, I just told him that I was going to plant some marijuana in this location and well I did I was on the other side of my farm and he came and he told me well that he went and burned on the land. Because he wanted to see me plant the weed and thing. Yeah. So yeah, people, so like I just say, you know. Um right now they got plastic food and them thing. You know what I mean? Plastic fish, plastic cabbage, plastic pepper. I know in a them thing, you know what I mean? I, I deal with the natural food, you know? See down there, I don't know if you could see it. Planting, two plantings, um, two young planting coming up. Yeah, and I plan to plant some, I plant in some already on the next side of my farm over so. Yeah, but, you know what I mean? And, and this land, you know, we got gongo peas, 
you know the green peas i got coconut you know i got ginger i got mangoes you know i got sour sap i got breadfruit breadfruit in abundance people you know what i mean see uh, all them breadfruit tree up there all them breadfruit tree there have on load up fully up yeah and we have everything we have tanya we have dashin you know what i mean we have edos we have everything people everything on this farm you know this is my family um this is my family's farm part of my family's farm this belong to my grandfather you know and my grandmother yeah, but now it's me and a cousin of mine that control it you know but she walking on the other side on that side yeah people so there you have it my answer to us why rastafari and why farming you know i think that everybody should try to at least own a piece of land to do their farming so they could plant their own food and if you don't know how to plant your own food you know try to seek help try to get help from somebody who does you know what i mean because farming is very important and another thing in my community well where i'm from a lot of people i know they look down on farming you know a lot of people scan farming and thing and that is not right because we the farmers we feed the we feed the nation we the one responsible for feeding the nation you know what i mean and we need strong healthy children in our community you know see they about just land for me there yeah you know what i mean so there you have it people that is just my answer and thing peace out we'll catch up so remember to subscribe like share and comment yeah and tell a friend if you tell a friend you know what i mean all right bless up yeah people so you know that is just part of my story as to why i choose farming and the rastafari way i mean that i full hundred still but then i full hundred but you know what i mean that is just basically like a run through of what is what it was for me you know my part of my experience my journey you know what i mean yeah but you know more time still i go you know do a video and give, give you guys a full hundred make you know a full story of why i choose rastafari still you know because for me this is more than lux more than the wearing of flax you know and looking a certain type of way this is more than that you know this is more than idle food and planting food and you know what i mean yeah deep you know yeah Proud of myself. Fully proud of myself. You know what I mean? When I work hard. You know what I mean? Well, but I need my game. farming nice again now. you know planting more food just now too you know look out for dashing and them things they plant up and planting feel a plant up and more potato and them thing there you know what I mean people yeah man just look out man and stay tuned you guys ain't falling when me ain't giving up and I put in the work you know and if any farm digging the land and planting some ganja slips, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you're in a fall, people, but I don't give up still. You know? I'm not accustomed to this for a long time I do this now, you know what I mean? I just want to get your footage for you, get your content for you, you know what I mean? Lovely people, 
You got me boy plant a garden TV. Enough respect Rasta man, you know what I mean? How you mean man? Enough respect every time. Big up. You know what I mean? And everybody farming. Into this farming thing just where I say big up my people.